who does not leave father and mother cannot follow me. As long as you are tied to the family, the nation, the tribe, you are siding with the old blood, the old ways, and cannot amalgamate into the molten sea, into a universal brotherhood. And I'm telling you exactly what the elite of the world are about today and what is happening in this world and why these things are happening. If you are listening to me carefully, you can understand current events crystal clear better than anyone that you know. You see, this ultimate peaceful world can only come when people marry internationally and produce interracial children. Because when there are so many nations, the way to unite them is through marriage. Let Abraham, the race and tribe father, die. Let the I am live. Christ knew the occult fact that the mixture of blood in international marriage always kills something. It doesn't kill the race. The race lives on in the genetic code of the children, even though the genes are mixed with genes of other races. They are there. If it does not kill the body, what does it kill? If we made a horse and a donkey, the outcome is a hybrid, the mule. In that mule, something is missing on account of the mixture of strange blood, namely the faculty of propagation, which is lacking in all hybrids. Similarly, when we marry internationally, something else is destroyed, but nothing physically. And that is the picture in the inner vision. The different pictures of different families clash. And so the clairvoyance, the touch with the spiritual world and the memory of nature has won since the practice of marrying in the tribe was broken up. The Highland Scot who marries in the clan and the gypsies alone retain this second sight in a measure. Thus we can see that the blood is now differently constituted from what it was in the earlier ages of human evolution. The body of Jesus was a pioneer vehicle of superlative purity at the time when the Christ Spirit entered it as a means of ingress to the center of the earth by the identical path which had previously been taken by Hiram Abiff when he jumped into the molten sea and was conducted along the path of initiation to the center of the earth where Cain, his ancestor, dwelt. Remember, folks, I'm reading this. This journey of Christ is recorded in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 and 19. After Christ had been freed from the flesh by the violent death on Golgotha, when anyone is killed, the venous blood with its impurities clings closely to the flesh, and therefore the arterial blood which flows is distinctly cleaner than it would otherwise be. It is more free from passion and desire, and being imperialized by the great Christ Spirit, the cleansed blood of Jesus overflowed the world, purified the etheric region of selfishness to a great extent, and gave man a much better chance to draw to himself materials which will allow him to form an altruistic purpose and design. Thus the age of altruism was there inaugurated. By faith in this blood and by imitation of the Christ life, the sons of Seth are therefore provided with a means of purging from themselves the curse of selfishness. While the sons of Cain were given the emblem of the rose and of the cross, to teach them to work faithfully to make the molten sea, the philosopher's stone, and to find the new word which shall admit them to the kingdom. For they believe more in works than in faith. They belong to the material world. Those who believe in faith belong to the spiritual world. The accompanying The accompanying chart that I'm holding in my hand shows three ages that are mentioned. The first age, when each human being was a complete creative unit, male, female, double-sexed, as they believe, and ruled by one hierarch, Melchizedek, who filled a dual office as king and priest, and that is what is coming 
to the New World Order. The second age, when the division of the race into male and female, separate from each other, humanity divided into two sections, called sexes, and into two orders, the temporal powers, the king initiates, Freemasons, initiation by fire and light, the male ideal of Hiram Abiff, and on the other end of the spectrum of duality, priests, Brahmins, Levites, initiation by water, baptism, of the female ideal, the Virgin Mary, and the division into races, nations, and sects, hence there is war, oppression, and slavery, unity and diversity, love and hate. And then number three, the new Galilee, the new age, the new world which is coming, abolition of sex. Are you listening to me? Abolition of sex, abolition of the family, finding the word, the word becomes flesh, Christ, king and priest, just and holy, baptism of spirit, divine ruler over a purged humanity. Do you know what the word purged means? It means that anyone who will not go along with this are to be eliminated. Christ, as you believe him to be coming back as a Christian, is not what they're talking about here. They're talking about the office of the Christ. The Christed race. The New Age movement. Divine ruler over a purged humanity called Abraham's seed dwelling in the new Jerusalem, which means there shall be peace. You better wake up to this because what they got planned is not good. I oppose it. I oppose them because they are liars. I oppose their machinations because they are not building, they are manipulating. I oppose their new world order because it will be a world of enslavement, of elimination of entire peoples and races. Because they can't wait for all these things to happen naturally. <laughs> they claim that the division of the rulership into state and church caused war and strife. The state espouses the cause of fatherhood and man and upholds the male ideal of arts, crafts, and industry embodied in Hiram of Death, the sons of Cain. The church espouses the cause of motherhood and woman and holds aloft the female ideal of love and heart and home embodied in the Madonna and her child. It is the conflicting interests of the man and the woman, the home and the shop, the church and the state, which cause the economic struggle, the war and the strife, with which mankind is cursed and which make all long and pray for the reign of peace. The third age, the coming world, the world that they are attempting to build now. When a divine Christ, who like Melchizedek, shall fill the dual office of king and priest, and shall rule over a purged and glorified humanity, which has risen from sex love to soul love. And I am telling you now, it will not be Jesus Christ. It will be an imposter. It will be a lie. It will, in fact, be the Antichrist. And I don't care if you're a Jew. I don't care if you're an agnostic. I don't care if you're an atheist, a Christian, an Islamic, a Buddhist, a Taoist, or a nature worshiper, an American Indian looking toward Wakantanka. What these people believe will affect us all. And they believe it. And they are in the process of bringing it about right this moment as I speak.
couldn't wait another day for The captain of the not a question of having no idea. Well, but what is your the, idea, Prime what, what you, Hang on. What you can say is, how many people are applying for asylum month by month? How many people are you removing? And what is the backlog? And we are dealing with all of those issues. Prime Minister, you have really no idea of how many failed asylum seekers there are illegally in this country. I can't... You because people know. are here illegally. You don't it is know. difficult... For the very you reason don't that, know. Hang on. For the very reason that the previous government gave. Too long ago, too long apart. She couldn't wait another day for. 